Thousands of years ago, where two great rivers meet, human beings decided that life was sustainable. Salmon runs were immense, the soil and tree lines were thick with nuts and berries, and wildlife flourished amidst California's greatest expanse of wetland. As time passed and cultures came and went, so too did the region's place names. The native villages of Momal at 5th and Richards, Samore at 5th and J, and Yalis at 30th and B gave way to many other names. These new sites and destinations are now part of our language, a part of our reality as we navigate about our capital city's water and roadways. The mystery is how they got their names. Sacramento's two most distinguishing natural features are the American and Sacramento rivers. The name American River is from a place called El Paso de los Americanos, where Canadian trappers, who were called Americanos by Spanish-speaking Indians, crossed the stream in the early days. Sacramento, the Spanish name for Holy Sacrament, is found often as a place name in Spanish-speaking countries. On October 8, 1808, Sergeant Gabriel Moraga, the first Spanish explorer of the Sacramento Valley, gave the name Sacramento to the Feather River. Although the lower Sacramento River was being called Rio de San Francisco until at least 1811, the name was soon changed to Sacramento as well. In the fall of 1848, John A. Sutter Jr. and Sam Brannan laid out a town at the Embarcadero of Sutter's Fort and named it Sacramento after the river. Where California State University Sacramento now sits on the banks of the American River, the town of Brighton once existed. It was laid out in 1849, where a group of Mormons, just two years earlier and employed by John Sutter, had built a flour mill. The town was abandoned in 1852, but a hostelry, the Five Mile House, operated there for years to come. The name Brighton was taken from the city in England of the same name. Just north of Sacramento is the community of Arcade. The term Arcade may have been originally applied to the tree-lined avenue of horse barns on the Rancho del Paso, where wealthy San Francisco lawyer James Ben Ali Hagen, a native Kentuckian, and his brother-in-law Lloyd Tevis raised thoroughbreds in the late 19th century. Eventually, the area's post office was given the name Del Paso in 1898, and was renamed Del Paso Heights in 1906. Hence, another Sacramento place name that we're very familiar with today. Adjacent to Arcade is Carmichael. Thanks to a real estate boom that hit northern Sacramento County in the early 1900s, Daniel W. Carmichael, a transplanted southerner, sold 10-acre parcels in his 2,000-acre Carmichael Colonies No. 1 and No. 2. This laid the groundwork for one of Sacramento's highest-profile suburbs. Nearby is the village of El Verde. The earliest use of the name for the area is from the post office Alberta Station, which was established in 1908. It was named for Alberta Dyke, whose husband gave the land for a community church. The town of Rio Linda was founded in 1913 by a member of the firm of Sears Roebuck. The town is located near Dry Creek, which also is called Linda Creek. The Rio Linda post office was established in 1914. Rancho Cordova can claim origin from Cordova Vineyards. The vineyards were in the center of the Spanish land grant Rancho de los Americanos, owned by Captain Joseph L. Folsom. A post office was established in the area in 1955, and the name Rancho Cordova was applied. Adjacent Orangevale was organized in 1888 by some enterprising Sacramento businessmen as the Orangevale Colonization Company. The area was designed to attract a better class of colonists to add to the material prosperity of the area. By 1894, it was the only district in the county growing oranges on 300 acres of orchards. Further north is Roseville. Legend goes that the name was chosen by residents for the most popular girl at a picnic when the Central Pacific Railroad reached the spot in the spring of 1864. Now let's head south. Florin was so named in 1864 by Judge E.B. Crocker because of the abundance of wild flowers that grew there. The name was passed on to the small village that began to rise as an important fruit shipping point on the Central Pacific Railroad in 1874. Thirteen miles south-southwest of downtown Sacramento rests the burgeoning suburb of Elk Grove. James Hall named the place for his home in Missouri. 
Hall came to California in 1850 and opened a hotel at the site of the present town. Now let's look at the Sacramento River Delta. Tin Sin Chan founded the Chinese community of Locke on the Sacramento River around 1916 after a fire destroyed the Chinatown in neighboring Walnut Grove. The land was owned by George Locke, the city's eventual namesake. Galt was given its name in 1869 by John McFarland, an early settler after his former home in Ontario, Canada. A Canadian town was named for John Galt, the Scottish novelist. Isleton was given its name by Josiah Poole and John Brokus to the town they built on Andrus Island in 1874. Postal authorities established the Ride Post Office in 1892. The same year, William A. Kessner laid out the community on land that was purchased from a Judge Williams, who suggested the title Ride from a town on the Island of Wight on the southern coast of England. The city of Cortland was named for Cortland Sims, son of James V. Sims, the owner of the land on which a steamboat landing was built in 1870 in the eventual genesis of Cortland. A name's not always simply a name. There's always, always a tale to be told, a face to be seen, a strange twist dusted over by time to be rubbed off and eventually understood.